What's going on, everybody? It's your boy JTP. Welcome to an episode of Beyond the God TV. Where today we got information that everybody needs to listen to today. Uh, so let's get into the show. Well, before we get into the show, I'm going to need for you to please like, subscribe, definitely subscribe to the channel, and also turn those notifications on. Because we got information out here, I swear to God. This, I mean, I never heard anybody talking about it. So you can be the first to hear it on Beyond the God TV. So let's get into the show. Now today's topic of discussion we're going to be discussing is going to be the actual wall clock. All right, um, and we're going to actually decode the wall clock. So what I want to do is I want to kind of like a little, I guess a wall clock prop, kind of break this whole thing down to you. All right, um, so let's get into the show. So now this whole, I guess, wall clock has a hidden meaning into it. So I'm going to give you like one of them today. First, I'm going to tell you that, you know, how important or relevant the number 12 is, all right? The number 12 is a very relevant number. In fact, we use it on a daily basis consistently and not even looking at the similarities or, I guess, the, um, the conjunction, you know, with the different, I guess, um, entities that deal with the number 12. For instance, like, how many eggs are in a dozen? We got 12. How many inches are in the ruler? We have 12. How many months are in a year? 12. Uh, how many years do children go to school? 12. So, I mean, we can go on and on with the 12, but we're going to stop right there. So, all right, so now we're going to use this wall clock and kind of depict the 12 numbers on here, which they all represent zodiac signs, okay? So, we're going to start with the first zodiac sign on the wall clock, which would be the one. All right, now the one is. Uh, actually the Aries, and Aries is a fire sign, and their ruling planet is Mars, okay? The second number, which is number two, would be Taurus. Taurus is an earth sign. Taurus ruling planet is Uranus, all right? Now we got the three. The three is uh, Gemini, and Gemini is an air sign, and their ruling planet is, you guessed it, Mercury, all right? So that's uh, Gemini, so we're gonna go to number four. Four is actually uh, Cancer. Cancer is a water sign, all right? And Cancer's ruling planet is Mars. Now, the next number we're gonna go to is five, which will be five o'clock, which is actually Leo, all right? Now, Leo is an actual fire sign, and their ruling planet is the sun. <clears throat> next on the list is number six. Now, six is, is the Virgo, that'll be me. Virgo's ruling planet is Mercury, all right? And they share that planet with actually uh, Gemini, all right? So Gemini and uh, Virgos have a lot in common, all right? Um, as far as dealing with that planet, Mercury. All right, the next number we have on the wall clock would be the seven. Now the seven is uh, ruled by Libras, all right? Libras is an actual air sign, and Libras ruling planet is Venus, which they share that with actual Taurus, all right? So next is eight on the list, which is Scorpio. Scorpio's is a fight, uh, no, Scorpio, excuse me, is a water sign, all right? And uh, their ruling planet is Pluto, and they also share Mars with uh, Aries over here, all right? So after Scorpio would be number nine. Nine is represented by Sagittarius. Sagittarius planet, he is a, is actually big bad ass Jupiter. All right, <laughs> I like to mess with my wife with that one because she, you know, Jupiter baby, and they are actually a fire sign and very hot hot headed also. You know from experience. All right, now the next number we have on the wall clock would be the ten, which would be actually Capricorn. Now Capricorn's um, ruling planet is Saturn, and Capricorn is actually our Earth sign also. All right, now we're going to the eleven. 11 is represented by Aquarius, all right? Aquarius, a lot of people think that Aquarius is a water sign, I guess by having the Aquarius sounding like aqua, but that's far from the truth. Aquarius is actually an air sign, and their ruling planet is actually Uranus, and they also share big badass Jupiter with Sagittarius, all right? That's number 11. Number 12, last but not least, is actually Pisces, all right? Now, Pisces is a water sign, and their ruling planet is actually, um, they share Jupiter 
with Sagittarius, but they also have Neptune too. Beautiful planet, aqua blue, all right? Now the purpose of me coming on here, I guess depicting this whole wall clock and zodiac sign thing is I'm gonna kind of break down the hidden meaning to this whole zodiac or wall clock thing because the clock not only tells time, but it also tells the age. And that actually, I have a show that's gonna come out that's gonna talk about the actual age that we're um, currently in. And it's gonna kind of, you know, tell you everything that's going on with the pandemics, uh, the, the, the loss of lives that we're having right now. It's all by design. People will be going to tell you exactly what's going on with that. So now the reason I'm coming on here telling you as far as with the whole zodiac sign um, is because it has to do with numbers, all right? So we went over as far as the importance or the relevance of the 12. Now we're going to take it a step further as far as, you know, dealing with um, the Son of God. We're going to use that. We're going to come back and kind of break that down also to today. All right. So now if you look at the whole 12, I guess, zodiac signs we went over, those 12 zodiac signs also represent the 12 followers, disciples, or apostles that follow Jesus. All right. So now let me show you this. Okay. So now dealing with this. Now you see they have the 12 zodiac signs. Now if I can get it a little bit closer to you. Okay, now I know you can see that zero, I mean, that, that dot right there. They have one all around on all of these numbers on here, all of them. I know you can look at your own clock and, 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 and see what I'm talking about. So why would I say anything about that? So now you have 12 dots, right? So now you have the hands of the clock that's controlling the time, which we use. What is controlling that hand? They have a dot in the middle. Now this is where I say as far as with the Son of God, what I was going to break down. So all of these zodiac signs have the ruling planets. All these planets revolve around the sun. So when they say the sun of God, and they're talking about the S-O-N of God. So when they say the sun of God, they're talking about the S-U-N of God. So once you put all those numbers together, right? <clears throat> you put those numbers together, the 12 numbers, and you add them up and you add the one more, the son of God, all right? now. The Son of God doesn't mean the actual man figure that we've been taught that this is who the Son of God is. So they killed us with vows. So when they say the Son of God, they're talking about the S-O-N of God. They're talking about the S-U-N of God, which all of these planets represent. I mean, these all these planets revolve around the Son of God. All right, so now you got 12 planets, and now you got that 13. What does that represent? Now that 13, guess what people, is the God energy. So then I'm gonna take it a step further with the 13. Once you put the one and the three together, you have a B. So what they try to do to us is keep us from achieving that B level by what? Having us blessed or be less than that 13 energy. So with this show people, I swear to God, my intention was not to offend anybody. If I did, you know, I apologize. But, you know, I keep it real on my channel. So this is what we look forward to as far as things we've been taught in the past, all right, that doesn't really have any relevance to what's going on now. And it is time for us to wake up out of that shell and start understanding the truth of what's really going on, all right? I hope you like this information. It's your boy, JTP. Uh, please like, definitely subscribe to this channel, and also turn those notifications on. Virgo.